lot of people dream of a career change, but most people don't do anything about it. And we actually feel bad about inaction, more than that we don't like about the situation. So in this video, I'm going to explain the real reasons behind our inaction and also share tips on how we can move from the inaction to action. So what took away our capability to act then? The four common reasons are one, overthinking. We are not able to make action because we are stuck in overanalysis. We attempt to make the perfect decision for our future. Another possibility is loss of energy because of negative feelings. We are too busy at work and we are too exhausted or too stuck of within the feeling of uh, hating the job or the kind of fear for entering new domain. And the next one is of course no, not knowing how to do it or fear of rejection because we think that we are not ready to enter that domain that we really want to go in. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, please do give the videos a like. It means a lot to me continuing with this channel. Here are my tips on how to get out of the inaction zone. 1. Identify which zone we are actually in. Are we thinking or feeling? But we know we are not doing, right? So it's very important to notice a lot of times we thought we are thinking, thinking about a new career. But we are actually feeling because we, we keep having this negative emotion of being unhappy in the current career path and then dreaming of going for somewhere better. So we need to first free ourselves out of the feelings and go into rational thinking and then we can have the possibility of a good decision from there. I hope this helps you get out of the painful decision-making process. If you want a personalized career strategy, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one session with me at youyouchannel.com. The second one is we need to stop fortune telling kind of mentality because when we overthink we have this thing called analysis paralysis it means we analyze so much that we become paralyzed for action by this overthinking if you keep asking yourself questions like will my passion last would the long-term return be worth my immediate sacrifice in the current career or will i regret in the future that means you are most likely overthinking in an unproductive way because if you notice all these questions are pointing towards the future you are trying to predict the future but you know nobody has an answer on, on you know how things would turn out in the future because the only certainty is uncertainty so if you keep asking it actually shows that you are not yet comfortable with uncertainty we ask questions about the future because we want to make a judgment or prediction about the future and that's the way we as humans cope with uncertainty. We want to avoid doubt and we want to make a decision very quickly. So imagine in the ancient days, right, we, when the tiger strikes, we just have to decide quickly, do we run this side or that side? We can't afford to stand there and wait for a very long time. But today, especially when the society evolves and everything becomes a lot more uncertain and a lot more complex, we have to face the reality that we will not know everything and we will not get a certainty whether our judgment is correct or not. So there is an ancient Greek term called, called suspension of judgment. It means in uncertainty, don't rush to say whether a judgment is right or wrong. You kind of shelf it and pause it. So it also means in our scenario, when we talk about career change, it just admit that right, we are placing a bet on one path or over another. Um, and knowing that our judgment will not necessarily be right, but then thinking about the chance of winning. We cannot get rid of uncertainty, but for career change, we can always use some guidance, right? We can research on industries and also world economy. So for example, it's hard to predict whether a particular company will do well, but if we know midterm trend of an industry, that will help us to 
to know which direction we are going towards. So of course, even the entire human society, we are limited by how far we can see, right? A lot of trends can go up and down. Um, in a few years' time, things can turn the table. But again, this is a bet, right? We, we could only work with whatever we understand as of today. So it's very important that we, can, we, we try to expand what we can see and what we understand. Another way is also to do small trails. Um, this especially works when we are not sure if our passion will last. So we, we test it out whether I like a certain industry as I imagined. So I could do some pro small projects on it. So for example, I always felt like I love the coaching aspect of my work. Then I started to sign up in uh, mentoring platforms and did coaching certification. And I, I, before I actually rush into this and say, I want to run a coaching business. Number five is knowing what we actually want to win. So I said earlier that any fortune telling type of questions will not give us good answers. It's important that we ask the good questions such as, what is my ideal career? What are the characteristics? What is my long-term goal? And what are my immediate needs that I need to fulfill? And what are the necessary sacrifices? And can I afford these changes or the sacrifices today? So when you finally get to the answer, you might actually realize that your current career path is good and it can give you what, what you want. So maybe you decide to stay in the same company for a different job or the same industry in a different company. So in either case, that self-discovery is very important. You can also watch my other video on um, what is the right career for me or and also on the career capital for more self-discovery journey. And if your long-term goal is a career progression, then I would like to remind you again, there is no certainty on you know, who you will meet, who will be your boss, what circumstances will happen along the way. So there is absolutely no certainty. But there is one thing or one direction we can optimize towards. I think a good career is anti-fragile by nature. So that is a term from Nassim Nicholas Taleb's book. He also wrote the book, The Black Swan. So he said anti-fragile is not only about being resilient. Whatever things that has such a nature will actually benefit from shocks. It not, it's not only staying the same through shocks, it become anti-fragile. And that means we are continuously learning and generating value, even if as of now it may look a bit risky. And uh, we also want to make sure that we are, the, the value we are, in, we are generating are actually increasing and are actually needed by the industry and by the society. Once we are able to manage our emotion and uh, stop overthinking, become comfortable with uncertainty, know more about the industry and understand our long-term and short-term goal, now we can then come to a decision. A decision is like a closure. It always makes us happy because nobody likes to be hanging in the air. As I said, you know, we human beings like to pursue certainty. So even if the decision is to stay where you are, perfect, you will at least be happier with where you are and try to think of optimizing the situation. Or if the decision is to change for the better, now you know you can start to focus on action. I hope this helps you get out of the painful decision-making process. If you want a personalized career strategy, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one session with me at youyouchannel.com. I will also produce more content on how to get your dream job and enter your dream industries. Subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss it.